Hello my dear friends, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Frank Lansman, and it's time for a bit of listening comprehension based on something that really happened quite a long time ago. Uh, it's an anecdote about J.K. Bowling. Um, I was sitting in the library of Exeter University in Devon, England, where I was going to spend a year as a postgraduate scholarship student to do research into American literature. Suddenly, an elegant lady emerged who kindly invited me for coffee and a chat before she'd just written some fiction. I happened to be in the middle of preparing a presentation about a famous horror tale, The Fall of the House of Usher by Edgar Allan Poe, so I politely turned down her offer. I never saw her again as she moved to France, till a decade later I saw the posters going up in my hometown of Amsterdam in Holland for the latest literary sensation from England, Harry Potter. I instantly recognised the author's photograph and the bookshop keeper told me that Miss Rowling was currently even wealthier than at the time the richest woman of Europe, the Queen of England, Elizabeth II both the books and the movies plus all the merchandise were breaking world records. Some Americans wanted to ban the books, fearing a revival of black magic. My godfather, Uncle Frank, was a children's book publisher at the time. He discovered Barbara Papa, Little Nicholas and Dr. Snuggles. When I told him about my unforgivable blunder turning down this fantasy fiction author from England, he laughed out loud. How could you have predicted that she would become such a literary sensation one day? He asked, trying to comfort me. Whenever my Indonesian students ask me about the meaning of the proverb, it's no use crying over spilt milk, I tell them, you know, there once was a lady who kindly invited me for coffee and a chat about fiction Exeter University's library. What that fiction would have entailed is anybody's guess and will go down in history as one of life's unsolved riddles. I mailed the anecdote to her website but she never replied. Perhaps it was her turn to turn me down for a change. Here are the questions. 10 WH questions based on the J.K. Rowling anecdote. Number one, there are two options uh, for every question, A and B. Number one, who's the author of the famous horror tale The Fall of the House of Usher? A, J.K. Rowling, or B, Edgar Allan Poe? Question number two, why did Frank have to prepare a presentation about this story? A. It was part of his research into American literature. B. He wanted to make a horror movie based on this story. Question number three. Why did the elegant lady invite him for coffee and a chat? A. She wanted to know more about American literature. B. She wanted to discuss some fiction she had written. Question number four. Why didn't Frank meet her again after turning it down? A. Because she moved to another country. B. Because he disliked her personally. Question number five. How did Frank know that the lady must have been J.K. Rowling, the world-famous author of Harry Potter? A. He recognized her face on the publicity posters for the Harry Potter series. Or B. She had sent him a signed review copy of her literary debut. Question number six. Did the success of the books, movies and merchandise enrich her? A. No, she actually ended up unemployed and living on social security. B. Yes, she actually became wealthier than the Queen of England. Question number seven. Why did some Americans object to the Harry Potter series? A. They dislike the British English spelling used. Or B. They were afraid that black magic would become popular again. 
Question number eight. What did Frank's godfather do for a living? A, he published children's books, or B, he was the author of Little Nicholas? Question number nine. How did he respond to Frank's blunder? A, he was extremely upset and started crying. B, he tried to comfort his godson by telling him he couldn't have predicted Rowling's meteoric rise to fame. And question number 10, what's the meaning of the expression, it's no use crying over spilt milk? A, what's done is done and cannot be reversed or changed. Or B, drinking milk brings no health benefits. That was all for today. I hope you subscribe to my channel, Frank Lansman, and uh, my uh, stage name on YouTube, by the way, is Frankie Paradiso. I've recorded a lot of uh, songs, um, you know, some cover versions, but mostly songs I wrote myself. And uh, I've also recorded some videos on language and literature. So uh, please subscribe and give it a like, a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Till next time, this is all from me. Have a good afternoon. Bye.